Hi, I'm Ms. Howard, the proud principal of Robert Sanders, and today I want to share with you my all-time favorite book, and it's written by Shel Silverstein, and it's called The Giving Tree. Some of you may have already read this book, but I say you can never read it too many times. It has such a good message from the author. Once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy. And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves. And make them into crowns and play king of the forest. I love how he uses imagination outside. He would climb up her trunk. You see his little feet climbing up there? And swing from her branches. and eat her apples. Have you ever eaten a fresh apple off of a tree? Oh, it's so scrumptious. And they would play hide and go seek. I love to play hide and go seek. That's a fun game to do with your family. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. I know on warm days, I'm always looking for a tree I can trust to find their shade to keep me nice and cool. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was so happy. Put a little heart on it that says me plus T for tree. But time went by. What do you notice about the boy now? It's looking a little older. And the boy did grow older. And it looks like now he might have a friend with him. Or he's showing love to that person too. And the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you'll have money and you'll be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. Boy, this tree just loves to do things to make her boy happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house but you may cut off my branches and build a house, then you'll be happy. So the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. Boy, this tree is, finds a lot of joy in helping her boy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy he could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat but that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat, sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. Look what's left of him. He's just given away everything of himself. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches. 
said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. wonder what he thinks he's going to be able to give the boy. I don't need very much, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Think about the message the author is, is telling us through this book. Think about all the people that give to you. Do you show them appreciation? Just know that when people love you, they will keep giving. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.